Hello everyone, this is Ayat from Inspiring Meta and in this video I am going to cover a very important question especially for the people who have got uh, All India rank less than 100 and looking for admission into MTech admission into top IITs or IIC Bangalore. There's a very thin line between IITs and IIC Bangalore and people often get confused like what to choose among them. So I collected an opinion from someone who got the admission into IIT Bombay as well as IIC Bangalore and opt to go for IIT Bombay and someone who got admission into both institutes and opt to go for IIC Bangalore. So the one who got into IIT Bombay who feel they feel that they have been depressed for a lot of time because you know they are always competing with someone who is very very smart and if you all know what kind of BTEC students they have in IIT Bombay uh, the problem is like MTech students at least for first one semester they have to take some classes with BTech students, BTech final year students and uh, those BTech final year students are in clear advantage when it compares to MTech students. Like for example they know the system well, they are very well confident, they know the system well, they know the professor well, they know the system and how to write the exams there very well, better than you. And when you go and compete with them, those guys are very smart, hardworking and smart and they always make you feel like uh, you are not a good student. So you will always be thinking like, I have been to top student in my class, I have been doing so good and why I am not able to perform so good here. In this situation, what will happen is your performance will go down and you go into depression or some sort of like pressure upon you and you will, you, all the time you will be trying to cope up with that pressure instead of giving a best performance you would be just coping up with the pressure so that you can just go, go out of it when it comes to IIC Bangalore you have people who you are competing with you or at the same level as you they don't know the system before they come to IIC they don't know how, how the professors are going to behave so it's a clear advantage instead uh, instead of like coping up with your pressure and depression and all those things you would be working on something which is more valuable to you. When it comes to these two institutes are very important so if your goals are like to know something and do something good into it so I think you can just easily opt to IIC Bangalore. But IITs have one clear advantage over IITs that IIC can never offer you. The advantage is like uh, when it comes to me personally before choosing an institute when I am in a position to choose between two things I would like to choose the best thing that suits my personality that's my nature always I try to do this and to know which what is best for me is to know myself first is very important to me what kind of nature I have is I'm, whether I am looking always into the studies or like to go into research and detail of that then IIS is a very decent place, you can go there and you can have the plan for like, like that. But your, your personality is a bit interactive, you, you like to meet people, learn from them, influence them and get the influence from them and all together you are learning, you are growing ahead together. Then I think you need to go to a place where there is a lot of human potential is there. For me, IIT was just a blessing for me because my personality, my nature was like to interact with the people compete with them even though they are younger, much younger to me, I would like to compete with them in many different cases. So I, for my personality it was very nice and when does it help? People might think like I was, I used to think when I was in IIT, why many people like spend so much time in clubs and why so many, so many activities, people waste a lot of time there. But I'll tell you like those activities actually will help you. Uh, in your life after 10 years it's not like right after your graduation nobody will, ha will help you except your grads and your grades and your studies and all that but if you look in the broader spectrum like what will happen in 10 years 20 years what kind of role you are going to play in the development of the whole nation or, or in the development of at least one company that, that those connections will matter a lot because IITs have young people smart people and uh, people who have courage and confidence to compete in the world. So these people, when you int when you are with them, they these people, some of them at least, would go higher in the la ladder. And if your nature is influential nature, 
I would definitely tell you, you would really love every single second you spend in IIT. IIS is more research oriented and uh, you know people who studied in IIT maybe after 10 years or 15 years or 20 years in their life they will definitely go, at least few of them will go in higher in the later. If you have the guts and capability to compete with these guys, join with them for different events like there are a lot of college events there. I'm not saying like just always go for dancing and blah 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 and waste your time and not like that. Join a club where you meet people on occasionally. I mean like maybe once in a month or twice in a month. Like I, when I was in IIT, I was a member of uh, Himalayan Explorer, Explorer Club, and we did a lot of activities under that. Like for example, we went for rafting. We went for like. Uh, 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 like hill climbing and, and uh, there are a lot of activities the, the, we did a lot of activities there and uh, I was then finally at the end of the, my IIT times uh, as, as I mentioned in my another video I contested in elections uh, with, and fought with the beta guys I mean we made a strategy I made a strategy with them so I had a lot of interaction with them I know only one or two MTech students, but I know a lot of BTEC students who are like very close to me and we are still close to each other. Few of them they started the companies, few of them are leading the companies, few of them are like doing their masters. And hopefully probably when, when time comes we will we will all join together and contribute to the development of the nation. But if you look into IISC, I have friends in IISC Bangalore because uh, I had to go to a lot of conferences and have to meet people there and I had I met friends with IIS, people who were studying in IISC Bangalore at the time. So most of them are like very good researchers, they have done a lot of good research and they, uh, they joined few companies then later on they just left the companies and they became the professor somewhere. So it all depends on you and your nature, what kind of thing you are looking for. I'm just telling you, it is nature, it is your nature. Don't try to, don't try to make your nature. Just go into the flow, you will lead the world. I mean, you will conquer it and you feel happy. No, just like, for the time sake, if you want to change your nature, you will not do anything, you will not go anywhere. I'm telling you, seriously, take it. If your nature is not, not very open and if you are a very studious guy and you would like to concentrate on studies all the time, I would say IIC Bangalore is a blessing for you, just go ahead and take the admission there. And if you go to IIC Bangalore, don't think that like you don't have to interact with the people. You have to go in, into your domain. If I go to IIC Bangalore, I would like to interact with my best professor in my department. First thing is like I'll figure out who is the best in my department, I figure out and then I join them, their lab. And then I make sure in summer internship I go to a university, best university in the world or the best research lab in the world lab. If I'm in IIC, I would plan definitely to meet a professor in MIT, Harvard, Stanford, Cornell, Carnegie Mellon and all these universities. I would have definitely a professor there, contact him for summer internship and I go there. If you're in IIT Bombay, make a plan, make a plan so that like you can utilize your holidays between like tours and trips and you do some activity, some constructive activity. So there are a lot of clubs and there are a lot of constructive activities going on there in IIT Bombay and clubs are there. So you join those clubs and be active member of that and it's not that like you want to make connection, It will. it's a basic actually basic nature of you what leads to you to, to a position and a decision for you so but at the end I would like to suggest you these two institutes are best in the best in India one institute have some advantages over the other and other institute have advantages over the other so to make a decision check your nature what really you want to do for girls it is pretty easy uh, for girls I'm very sincere about sincere for you. If you want to take an admission, I would definitely recommend you to go to IISC Bangalore. Close your eyes, just go out there because the amount of pressure you're handling in IIT Bombay would be enormous, enormous, really. And those contacts and all those things would help you if you're if you're if you're fighting for long long run. And most of the girls, I don't think they. I don't feel like because I'm in industry now for the last couple of years and I see all top executives who are working there. 
and I found like less than 0.5% executives are like women. So I think uh, women usually would like to contribute towards the society more. So I would recommend them to take an institute which is calm, which make them grow into their personality, give them time to understand themselves and to learn about the system and to learn about the about the social sh uh, social atmosphere and work. So I think all these things and uh, for guys I would suggest like if you want to compete, if you want to rock the world, take a challenge and go ahead with I IIT Bombay and do really best best out there. With this video I think I would convey you the message but I conclude the video with, with a small statement so that you can remember it. Whenever you have a choice to make, whenever you have a choice to make, Choose the best that suits your personality, that's like you. Want to choose IIT Bombay? You got to be like IIT Bombay. And if you want to choose IIC Bangalore, you need to be like IIC Bangalore. Calm, soft, green and cool. IIC ba IIT Bombay is like full of, full of energy and like kind of, you, you know what kind of energy I'm talking about. So if you want to be in that line, rest of your life, join IIT Bombay. And definitely when you make a decision, be with that and uh, till the end. Be with that decision. Stay very, very happy. When you fill the form of IIT Bombay, feel so happy. And think that like your life has changed and you got to change it from now. And if you fill the form of IIC Bangalore, feel so, so happy and just like, they feel that like this is a part of your life, rest of your life and then you got to make the best out of it. So with this spirit, if you go to any of the institute, you will definitely love it. With this, with this message, I would like to conclude my video and uh, I would like to ask you to subscribe to Inspire and Ignite as well as uh, Inspire and Ignite YouTube channel because I will be uploading a lot of videos in that. So with this, I wish you a very good luck and thank you so much for watching the video.